Hey guys, welcome back to more Fear of the Walking Dead. We're on episode 4, season 6, called The Key. Now then, the last episode was kind of a feel-good episode for me because we met a lot of people in their travels between Al and Dwight after just hundreds, 200 and odd cases of them just collecting driver's licenses as like a kind of a game just finding more and more the same. And then we find a group of people in a commercial building who are still alive, but not for long. Totally infested with rats who've got the bubonic plague. And even Dwight ended up infected. I was starting to wonder whether we're going to lose Dwight in this episode, I'll be honest. And then it turns around because even though Al's determination on a personal nature to go find the helicopter on the roof and beer lady... <laughs> It ended up with the supply crate that there was enough medication in there to save everybody. But then, then we get a, a voice over the radio. And I've always been wondering ever since they brought Dwight into this, have they brought him back in to help boost the show? Have they brought him back in for him to be the tortured man who never finds his wife? Or have they brought him in for the exact opposite? and to make you re reunite and lo and behold that's Sherry and I kind of fell to pieces a little bit after that in the episode <laughs> so we'll just move on forget about that right okay let's go watch episode 4 when Ginny tasked me with stepping back into that role I had my reservations well, I assume that's what she's asked you to do, she's what we're witnessing. You more than anyone can understand why, given how things played out the last time I wore a badge. Life here is not as I imagined. I just don't like anything we'll that this place... We'll freedom to live behind these walls, but represents. by and large, I'm starting to believe it might just be worth the cost. I haven't lost a soul on these grounds since before I arrived. You were under her rule, though. days, last I heard. And I feel like John settles too easily for whatever happens to be the situation in the status quo. But for now, then I have much choice. Oh. Did you get so close to the fence? Or is that one that's got through trying to get through? Yeah, it is. Know that I'm sending you all my love, always. Yours, John. Got the dog with us now? How exactly does this work? <laughs> what, and now you'll bark when we get closer? Something like that. <laughs> that does that, I don't know. <laughs> Should I take you to the last place I saw her? Is she even gonna recognize me? Yeah, of course. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't don't move him. I know how accidents like these take their toll. Oh, it was right. It is one of theirs. Go home. Warn Cameron about his drinking more times than I can count. Pest. He must have gotten too close. Gathered. Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. How's that? When we look into it. I appreciate how seriously you've taken your duties here, John. But it's not gone unnoticed. What brings you around these parts? Well, I'm on the Inter-Settlement Council now. I was on my way to a meeting. Well, you just missed really? some real ugly mustard. One of our rangers wound up dead, tangled up in the barbed wire fence. It's too soon to say, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have my doubts. It doesn't feel Anything right. I can do. There are certain matters on which I seem to have. He's a ranger, too. I don't have a letter for you. Well, that's not what I'm here for. I want to talk to you about Cameron. Cameron, okay. What about him? Well, he's dead. You two were close, right? <laughs> he did his laundry. Well, yeah. Do you know what happened to him? Well, I know that she he ended up tangled in the girl. fence with the past, making short work of him. Since you do everybody's laundry, I thought maybe... <sighs> I'm sorry. I've never seen it. That's okay. John, what's going on? But until I do, you be careful, okay? You're the closest thing I got to family around here. Oh. I don't think he was drunk. I found a bottle of moonshine in his house. He hadn't touched a drop. I bet whoever has the matching one of that person we're looking for. Is your for. culprit? 
if you're going to have law here, this is the right There was works. a man in the first place I lived after the puzzle went to pieces. Murdered his friend over a can of tuna. Tied the killer to a stake outside the walls. Blasted music to draw in the dead. I don't want that for Lawton. No, neither do I, but... No, but you don't need to go to that fucking extreme. <laughs> I'm concerned with the fact that this doesn't bother her, especially given what we know about her. So what you're actually displaying here is, well, if you have a beef with someone and you can make it good enough to look like an accident, I don't really care because I'm not going to punish anyone in here unless they get caught with a smoking gun in their hand. You're talking about punishment and we don't even know if this is a crime yet. From the day he turned up at Lawton's gates, Cameron answered the call, faithfully serving his community. Thanks. Did you know him? He was always on my ranger detail when we'd travel outside the gates. It's so tragic. She's been having a hard time with it. Dakota? The proper picture girl here who looks like a daughter. Janice? Oh, what whoa. the fuck are you doing? Get easy. Kind of trying to sneak out through the fence. All right. You trying to run off on us again? Check her bag. Oh, but this you'll go hard at. Planted. How about that? How about that? Planted. That's awfully convenient to tie them. Wrap this up neat, nice, neat in a bow. Nah, not buying that. I found this in Cameron's house. Under a mattress. Pretty talented. I can't help you if you're not going to talk to me. You can't help me even if I do. Jenny wants people to feel safe. And that's not going to happen if they know she's lying. So talk to me about these earrings. I told you they're not mine. You think someone planted them? I think she did. Mm. I didn't want to be here without him. I couldn't. So you were going. Cameron wasn't... But that ended up in a bag. But he listened. He cared. Wow. <laughs> in the midst of everything that's going on, we've got a crime episode. <laughs> that I did not Strawberry expect. Strawberry yield's been good this year. Makes me think we're on the right track. If we hadn't had our little talk, I'd have never doubled up on range rounds, and Cameron's killer might be She's halfway too happy. by now. <laughs> well, uh, Janice said those aren't her earrings. She was trying to run away. But I just need to do a bit more due diligence. There's... You sound like a 1930s, 1940s detective who goes, oh, somebody's dead. It might be it might be someone killed them. we found something at the crime scene that belongs to a certain person. It's them. Case closed. Done. Let's not investigate anymore. We've, we've, we've got the person that we need. <laughs> you don't even care. There's something... I don't know why she would be involved unless it's just... She doesn't like the fact that the you two got together and she possibly knew that you were thinking of leaving. And she's made sure that the only way to stop that is to remove one of you. The only question is, isn't a ranger more valuable to her than a woman who does the laundry? Has she made a choice as to which one goes here? Or was he just the weaker choice? I don't know. I know you don't want to believe Janice did this, but I think you need to ask yourself if that's coming from intuition or because you don't want to lose your carrier pigeon. You read our letters? Every single one. Okay. Cameron made sure of it. You're a bitch. What's going to happen to Janice? An example will need to be made. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't listen to her. No. You're doing the right thing. She's protecting someone. Who? I don't know. I like her daughter. She, she's got straight head. Straight thinking. She knows her mother is a manipulative, cunning little f And she does it with that smile on her face that I want to wipe off. Did he have some sort of wounds on him before he got eaten to show he was murdered? Is 
Is that what I think it is? That piece of whatever he got stabbed with? No rights, no privacy. How did you discern that fact from this charnel pit? He must have got chewed up when the pastor were trying to get at me. It's too clean a cop. Not by choice. Yeah, it's not a pie mug. I found this in Cameron's hands. From the pattern, I think it's from the grip on the knife handle. He must have broken off when he was trying to stop whoever was attacking him. Hey, with your new position on the council, do you have access to the armory? Yeah. We need to know whose knife this belongs to. Gotta find out who checked it out. Okay, it's gonna be my ass if Virginia Pines is sitting here. Page is missing. <laughs> of course it is. You find it. Virginia, that knife's gotta be here. Or just outside the gates. I can find it. If you do that, and then what? Well, Virginia said it herself. People are only as safe as they feel. Even her own sister thinks she's protecting someone. Okay. Do me a favor, John. The big question is... Is she protecting someone because she doesn't want to lose whoever said person it is that's done this? Or is she protecting that person for her own um for her own reasons to keep the calm here and to keep to get this case closed as quickly as possible so that people do still feel safe? It could be either one. Take the afternoon and think long and hard about this course of action before you commit. But to making sure you don't find you anything as to who it is. There's no going back. Virginia is protecting somebody. I don't know who. I don't know why. I just need you to sit why down you to a stop? little while longer. John, I said stop. Why? I can get you out of here. You can't. Why not? Ranger Dory. To what, Victor? Her confession. She hasn't given one. I did it. I killed Cameron. What are you talking are you about? Doing this? We were planning on running away together. But that night, he told me he couldn't go anymore. He didn't think what we had was worth it. Fights spilled outside, things. I. What'd you stop him with? Got out of control. On, Which yeah. knife? Go on. I pushed him into the fence and watched the dead tear him apart. Where did you stop him? And what with? Thank you for finally unburdening yourself. I Fuck hope off. Make peace with what you done. Blah blah blah. Confessed. That's got to count for something. I'm, and we're gonna make sure they do. That's her problem. It's okay. I don't have anyone left. Tom's gone. I'm not okay. buying any of this. There's nothing more for me. There's a spare key to a dirt bike camera hit seven miles north, past mile marker thirty nine. How they have this Take planned? They him. have this planned. Get out of here. She's set to be executed at daybreak. There you go. Execution. I just spoke to her as her officially. Now then, here's the here's my dilemma as to how rotten this place is from anyone's perception and understanding. Who decides that this warrants an execution? In the old world, this was decided. For the people, by the people, all that crap. Um, but there was a criminal and a law system in place. And the punishment fits the crime and all of that. But it was to keep the public, the, the masses, safe. There is nothing in place in here that the people have decided or voted on. There's no democracy in here. Not that I've seen. This is just on the decision and the whim of what Jenny decides what punishment fits what crime. Now, if you think she's really done this, if, 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 we, if we ignore for a minute that we know she's fucking involved, if she wasn't and this was nothing to do with her, the most you should be doing is banishing her outside of your walls. Because like I said, that's that's almost as much as, you know, <laughs> allowing the banishment to fit the crime, knowing full well there's a good likelihood that that person's going to end up dead out of these walls, whether it's from lack of food, water, shelter, or just one of these things coming to buy them. And she's just given a description as to 
the last place that she was at with the guy in charge, how brutal a decision he made for somebody tying a stake to them and allowing the walkers to come and eat them alive and pick them clean. But you, you are still prepared to use the death penalty. So how are you any fucking different? i always been one to follow the rules. Yeah. Because the rules always made sense to me. Problem is, Jenny's making the rules. Oh. That's the problem. You're thinking of running away? Mm. Janice wants me to. Yeah. What are you going to do? Get to the bottom of it. get Janice out. That's the choice I'm making. I get John. it. We can find another way. He's Why don't you make sure June gets this letter? He's willing to accept the consequences here. So she knows why. To do the right thing. I had to. Who knows, John? You may yet see her again. Hey, let's hope so. He's a Morgan type. He can't help but... He can't help but do the right thing, even if it costs. The price that it costs is him. An unusual episode here, I wasn't expecting. It, you know, it's not progressed or moved the storyline on at all. It's, it's given as a... It's given as a singular detective-type episode here on... Yeah, thank you. So glad you did that. So much for all those theories and what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. Decision was taken out of your hands before you even knew about it. You don't give people the chance. You take the initiative, you do it first. Poor Janice. Did you tell her? Someone told me. Yeah, you were purposely left out of the loop. Did you tell him? Hey, he didn't have to. You arranged that confession? It was Janice's idea. You told Ginny what I was going to do? I told her that Janice was a flight risk. Oh, God, Stop. this is not what Stop. we need. It's not you two that's the problem. It's her. You killed her. John, you killed Janice. Janice was always going to take the fall. If it did, you would have hunted you down and killed you both. Yeah, probably. That's what this is. Come on. He's Listen, protecting you. you Genesis he knew you should never let this go. This place destroys everything. Yep, it does. Towns where people can feel safe and secure without fear oh. of the dangers that lurk beyond. Go suck a dick. But I am proud to say civility's won. Goodness and now, has prevailed. we don't know who the fuck killed her. Him, one sorry. Man's dogged pursuit of Someone in here who's just protecting. Good, decent men like him on watch. You were a hero in our hour of need. <laughs> Please accept this small token of our gratitude. Don't want it. A key to the future. John, you need to take those extra canisters of gas and run. She even pins a fucking medal on you just to stick it up your ass. <laughs> what is it? Nothing, Jim. You need to run. Why don't you come in, unpack? Let me clean up. I was expecting to see. Gulch is the last place in the world I want to go. Yeah, I am. Talking to you like you're not a- Holy! That actually made me jump. Fuck! You okay? Oh, man. Who the hell hit you? Mm. That was a pretty heavy impact. Hey, is that an it's them, isn't it? Because now will be a good time to say sorry. Virginia knows exactly where he is. Who the hell's Virginia? Uh, what you're talking about? And you stay back. I don't want to hurt nobody. Oh, you won't. <laughs> you were saying? Oh, gross. <laughs> that was good. Damn, he's gonna pass out from that if he doesn't get free. You got the key, and he can see it. Yes, Morgan. You 
weren't willing to risk all that for this key. What the fuck does it open? We've got a Pandora's box, people. Okay. Right. Thought I enjoyed that episode because it was John the detective. Um, I feel sorry for him because he did nothing wrong there. Tried to do the right thing. He even gave us the whole backstory with his father as to why he's making the decision that he was making. And then she pushes forward the execution. The rabbi knew, Strand knew, she purposely left you out the loop for obvious reasons. Um, and then Strand, as I said, made the decision that he's made doing the right thing for the wrong reasons to protect you because he knows full well that had you two run, if John and Janice, <laughs> John and Janice, had run, that she would have probably hunted you down and killed the Barry. But what it does leave is a big question mark as to who killed who committed the murder? Who killed that guy? Janice paid the price. Um, how much involvement Jenny has, I don't know. She protecting someone. I don't think she did it personally. Whether we ever get to the end of that, I have no idea. And, and, and get a, a resolution and a reveal. Um, and... This at the end with Morgan, that was a hell of a crash. Done purposely, but <laughs> it's just when Morgan's like, I don't want to hurt anybody. And people automatically assume from his demeanor and his look that, oh, well, we'll take him down anyway. Well, you're both dead, aren't you? So that didn't work. They didn't know who Jenny was. But what is this Pandora's box that this key owns? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I enjoyed that because it didn't feel it was the walking it was, it was Fear the Walking Dead no I said the wrong show then um, but it was a detective episode within it but showing just how rotten the place is Janice is perfectly accurate with that we are dealing with a dictator here who is keeping the peace by whatever means necessary and then pinning a fucking medal on him just to stick two fingers up to you because she knows she makes out like she doesn't know the specifics and the details but she does and she knows exactly that that's the one thing that would have created you even more is to go congratulating you on on um being a hero with this and I will pin a medal on you for it when you know full well you don't deserve it that was awful it was great but it was awful I felt sorry for Janice um she felt as though she had nothing left she told John to run and then suddenly knock at the door and June's here she is a master manipulator. And if you didn't get the, um, <laughs> the Romulan reference, don't worry about it. <laughs> you're either a Star Trek fan or you're not. Um, but that was very cunning of her, which is exactly what she is. I hate this woman. And she does it with a smile. That's what makes it worse. She's like a fucking serial killer. <laughs> right. We'll be back with another two episodes next week, five and six. If you are enjoying these episodes, I would appreciate a quick sub to the channel. And if you really want to help um, me out as a channel, the best way to do that is to go check the link in the description. All of the episodes are available over on Patreon. You can watch them all full length. I will leave you to go check that out. See you for two again next week. Take care.